Hello, my name is Emily, as you may or may not know, and today we are going to be looking at terrible fan art. Now, creating fan art is a great way to, you know, express your uh, admiration and your appreciation for another artist, actor, singer, whoever um, that you admire. Um, and it's also a good way to, you know, express your own personal creativity. Um, however, not everyone can be Picasso. Right? But you know, art is all about striking emotions in people. Um, and these definitely strike some emotions. And disclaimer, yes, I'm gonna be making fun of these drawings, spoiler alert. But you know, every artist has to start somewhere. I'm not saying that anybody who has done these drawings are necessarily bad artists. You can be a good artist and have a bad drawing, you know. So if for some reason, you know, one of the artists happens to be watching this video, I don't want you to be, <laughs> I don't want you to be discouraged. Um, you know, keep drawing because, you know, practice makes perfect and, you know, there's nowhere to go uh, but up. <laughs> so let's just get into it, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? <clears throat> Okay. All the single ladies, put your hands up because whoever drew this is going to be arrested. This drawing looks like if Beyonce were doing a Cheshire Cat cosplay from the nose down and then a demon cosplay from the nose up. Imagine this drawing being like your sleep paralysis demon and then crazy in love just starts blaring through the house. It's like shaking the walls. She starts crawling on the ceiling like, Got me looking so crazy. <laughs> Good old David Schwimmer from the hit TV show, Friends. But this drawing, this is nothing from Friends. This is something from acquaintances at best. You know, it's giving like coworker that you never hang out with outside of work. It looks like someone tried to draw Ross, but like the canvas was someone's thumb. It looks like Ross if you bought him in the clearance section at Ross. Listen, Rachel would not have ditched living in Paris for this version of Ross. Okay, she would have told her Uber to speed to the airport. I mean, there's not much to say. This drawing of Justin Bieber makes him look like he eats people. Like, if I saw this thing walking down the street, like, immediately my first thought would be, please don't eat me. Like, this version of Justin Bieber looks like he goes to the dentist and, like, bites the fingers of the dental hygienist. And I'm not talking, like, a little playful, like, nip, okay? I'm talking, like, he bites it clean off and there was blood everywhere. You know those Elvis lookalikes that walk around Vegas? Yeah, this looks like if someone did a Justin Bieber lookalike, but that someone was a cannibalistic extraterrestrial. So here we have the unbelievably alluring, seductive, beautiful Angelina Jolie. You know, a Hollywood sex icon. And then there's that thing next to her. I feel like, like when you're a huge celebrity and people draw something for you and it's like god awful, like t objectively terrible, like how do you even react? Like, oh wow, thank you. Is this, is this me? Wow. How dare you? Harry Styles from One Direction, everybody. That One Direction being South. This looks like if the Muppets introduced a lesbian aunt character who never got married and she just has like a bunch of cats. Like, can't you just imagine Miss Piggy and Miss Harriet Styles going out and getting coffee or whatnot and Miss Piggy's like talking mad shit on Kermit and then Harriet's like, listen, just live alone. That's what I do and I love it. Look at those eyes though. Like, that person has seen some shit. Like, it looks like they're actively going through PTSD in this very moment. But that, like, they're having a That's So Raven vision that a plane is crashing. You know when they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder? I am not the beholder right now. Again, like, babe, if, if Kendall were to see this, what is, what is she supposed to say? I mean, it's so sweet that you took the time to like draw someone you like, but at the end of the day, I mean, this is like handing someone a plate full of moldy rotten beans and being like, what do you think? Like, bon appetit, right? This looks like someone tried to draw Kendall Jenner from memory, but they have amnesia. 
I hope the next cover shoot Kendall does for Vogue or like Cosmo that like this is the cover. <laughs> she like goes through an entire photo shoot like it's like eight hours long and then when the cover finally comes out she's like what the hell? <laughs> Honestly, I'm sure that magazine would be flying off the shelves because people would just be like, you know, it's giving... Okay, like what? Ah, uh, a tribute to the former NSYNC member. Unfortunately, there is nothing in sync about this. Justin Timberlake was in a boy band, okay? Certified cutie patootie hottie patati with the swimmer's body and what what have you uh but this drawing makes him look like a child predator like that face just screams i have candy in my van like if i had a child and i saw this man approaching the park i would be like timmy no timmy take your soccer ball and we're leaving i don't care if brendan wants to stay all right he can get kidnapped then i think it's like the thin mustache that's giving me those vibes. Like, something about that mustache is making my womanly instinct be like, Stay away from my child. Mr. Zach Braff from the hit TV show Scrubs. But let me tell you, if this man walked into my room and introduced himself as my doctor, I would be like, I think you're the one that needs to see a doctor. I mean, if you can even see him. You got a serious case of strabismus. I mean, you're gonna try and put the thermometer in my mouth and accidentally poke my eye out or stab my carotid. That's strange, I don't hear your heart beating at all. Yeah, that's that's actually my cheek. That's, nope. Now let me tell you, this version of Nicolas Cage doesn't look like he would have stolen the Declaration of Independence. Okay, it looks like he would have eaten it. This drawing makes him look like he had a stroke. Or like he just overheard two family members fighting during Thanksgiving and one of them said something that just like took it way too far. Listen, I don't want to keep repeating myself, okay? Just soak the dishes before you wash them, all right? You know, this is why your husband left you and your kids don't want to spend time with you anymore. Also, your hair looks like shit. Our beloved Jin from BTS, Mr. Worldwide Handsome, Mr. Perfect Face, Mr. I would say yes if you proposed to me even though I'm like pretty much a lesbian. And then we have a depiction of him. He kind of looks like like a turtle in a wig who moved to LA and then got lip injections in the back of someone's truck. His nostrils could maybe use some work. Well, honestly, they look like they work great, actually. <laughs> he looks like his sense of smell is so good he could just replace an entire squad of police dogs. I mean, his nostrils are just like... I don't know if you guys heard, but uh, Jin is actually starting a solo career because he inhaled the other members. Julia Roberts, arguably most well-known for her role in the classic film, Pretty Woman. Um, you know, they should do a remake of that movie with this drawing and uh, just call the movie Woman. 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 I'm kidding. But this drawing really makes Julia Roberts look like she's a witch who can't even do that many spells. She's like a JV witch. You know, like every time she gets on her broomstick, it's like very obvious that it's uncomfortable for her. She's like, is this broomstick riding up anybody else's ass? Or it's just me? Just me? Okay. She's like a student driver, but on a broomstick. <laughs> She's like, can I ride the vacuum instead? It just seems more sturdy. <laughs> Good old Edward Cullen, you know, the original sexy white boy that looks kind of dead. This drawing definitely isn't, you know, the worst drawing I've ever seen, but um, it, it just makes his face look like too angular. Like he kind of looks like that mask that the main bad guy in Squid Game wears. You know, just like straight up geometric. Like this version of Edward looks like he moves like this. What am I? Say what I am. Say it out loud. Like he looks like he has screws in the back of his head. Two monsters in one, hey. Vampire and Frankenstein. Actually three monsters in one because he's also a man. <laughs> Kidding, I'm joking. Kidding. <clears throat> they say if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. So I shall stay silent. I plead the fifth. No, I have to say something. I mean, this looks like it was drawn on a Nintendo DS uh, and the stylus was glitching. Her hair looks radioactive. Like if I tried to cut it, the scissors would just melt. Her lips look like, like whatever the opposite of, of kissable is. I don't know, lethal? 
dangerous, destructive. <laughs> Do you guys remember that show Mr. Meaty? She looks like she would have been on that show as like an e-girl character who like does not care about the job whatsoever and like burns all the burgers. Now, this isn't a drawing, um, but it's something. This was supposed to be a tribute for Lucille Ball from the classic show, I Love Lucy. Um, but I'm not sure if this is as much of a tribute as it is like a summoning, a summoning to, to anger, anger Lucille's, Lucille's spirit. spirit. I mean, Lucille was so beautiful uh, and this statue looks like it will shoot lasers out of its eyes if you get too close to it. Uh, I mean, it looks like it's ready to bite you. If this statue was in Night at the Museum and it came alive, I mean, it would be the villain and it would viciously kill everyone. It would win. Like, kill everyone. Like, cast, crew, you know, there, there would be no more movies after that. So that is all I have for you guys today. Uh, thank you so much for watching and um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all... Um, are doing well and have good relationships uh, with your loved ones and those around you. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, just whatever. Until next time. I forgot to do the thumbs up.